Dear student, again, this is the same problem. It is my third lecture, but method is different. This is the third method I am using. It is the third method. What is the name of the method I can say? It is a superposition problem. Why? Because in this problem is same, but I am going to solve this problem with the superposition theorem. How am I able to solve? That at the beginning I have to assume first that the diode is on. And when the diode is on, as we know that, that when the diode is on, it must be the forward bias. And forward bias, it will behave as a short circuit. And when this becomes a short circuit, this whole circuit will convert into this circuit. See here? This one 15 voltage, 10, 5, 5, 10, and again 10 voltage. But now, diode has been removed from there and a short circuit has been created here. So now, here in this circuit, no non-linear device is there. Here I cannot apply the superposition. Why? Because diode is there. Diode is a non-linear device. Non-linear device superposition we can't apply. But we have converted this with the piece piecewise model as I discussed in the previous lectures. This model because of, I have converted the diode as a short circuit. So this circuit, there is a no non-linear device is used. So now I can apply the superposition here. Because there are two different voltages, 15 volt and 10 volt. So when I am going to apply the 10 volt, I take 15 volt as a short circuit. 15 volt I have taken as a zero. So it will zero, then this 10 ohm kilo ohm will come parallel with the 5 kilo ohm. And the circuit I have drawn here. See check. This is 10 volt is applied. But what about the 15 volt? 15 volt has been ground. So because of that ground, this 10k has already come with parallel with 5k. So all three resistors are in parallel. Now here diode current, but here I have taken I1 because this current is just because of 10 volt. As we do in the superposition, nothing is new here. So same I will do repeat for the 15 voltage. When I will consider the 15 voltage, 10 volt will be the round and this 5 kilo will be parallel with 10 and 5. Here is the second circuit number 1. This is circuit number 1 and this is circuit number 2. Why it is? Because there are two different voltage sources. First I have taken 10 volt, another time I have taken 15 volt. So both our circuits are drawn here. First time I have taken I1 here and here I have taken I2 is here. So what will be the, at the final answer, final answer will be I1 minus I2. Because superposition theorem says that we have to take the algebraic sum of the current, whatever they are coming or going through this particular point in which I want to know the current. Here, I am interested to know the current through this P to N, which I have taken short circuit. Why? Because I assume diode is on. Okay. So here, the total I I can calculate, 10 divided by over the total resistance. Total resistance is 5 plus 10, 5 and 10, 3 are parallel, all 3 are parallel and the all 3 are parallel in series with this 5 ohm. So 10 divided by this, this gives my total current and total current is going to divide in the 2 parts. This is I1 and second one is this in the 10 kilo. So I will apply the current divider rule and I will find out the I1. I1 value is 1 milli ampere. The same thing I will do for the circuit 2. Circuit 2 I will find out I dash. I dash is 15 divided by total equivalent of this current. 10 plus all 3 are parallel. So this is I dash and I2 is again the current divider rule. This is I2 is 3 by 4 million amperes. So finally algebraic sum of I1 and I2 will be I1 minus I2 and that is the diode current. ID I1 minus I2. 1 minus 3 by 4 is equal to 1 by 4. Hope you remember my two previous lectures. I have taken the same problem and I need, I need to calculate. From first method, I have taken the nodal analysis. In second method, I have used the Thionin theorem and in the third one, I have taken the superposition theorem. So, th this is the right way by which you can clear your concept. Again, I am telling you guys. Take one example and number of ways by which you can solve. It will be helpful for you. So, this is the solution. So, I will come in the next lecture with the new problems. Thank you.